Hi, I'm Melissa Sardelli. Here's a look at the stories trending on WPRI.com today, Tuesday, August 30th. Tonight, we continue tracking Irene's impact on southern New England. 48 hours after the storm hit, power outages continue to be one of the biggest concerns for residents. The numbers are improving, but nearly one-third of National Grid's customers are still without electricity. And here's a look at the latest numbers. Providence County leads the pack with 70,000 half of Rhode Island's outages. Kent has 30,000. Washington has 25,000 and Bristol County has 10,000. Newport County is down to just under 3,000 and Bristol County, Massachusetts has 36,000. All of these outages and downed power lines are also delaying the start of school for children in dozens of local communities. In some cases, the first day of class has been pushed back as much as one week. Get a full list of school delays right here on WPRI.com. And Tropical Storm Katia continues to gain strength as it moves west-northwest across the Atlantic. Katia has maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour. The U.S. National Hurricane Center in Miami says continued strengthening is forecast and Katia could become a hurricane by Wednesday. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online news and weather, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.